I know! You get this close to being short! I keep telling you! Don't be sneaking up on a man and his diggings! Well, hey everybody! Jeff Williams here! Where that shit is that car? I know, what are we doing today? Well, you know, it's Halloween. I love Halloween. So anyway, we're down here, and I know all y'all out there want to know, Jeff, we've been chomping at the bit. We want to see some gold. I want to see some gold, too. But before we do that, I want to show you something. Come here, take a look at it. We've been stoping it out. It's got a natural curve to it. And it's got a smiley face to it. Check this out. Hey, look at that. It's a jack-o'-lantern. That's why we're going to call that the Lucky Jack-o'-lantern stope, or Lucky Jack for short. You already know what we're doing today, right? I'm going to dig out a sample here, and then we're going to raffle it off to some lucky winner. I don't even know what's in it. We're not even going to go through it. But I know a lot of you out there said, Jeff, what about the rest of us? We want to know what's in there, too. Even if we don't get the gold, we want to at least see some. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig up a section right here, and then I'm going to pan it out right here on the spot. So do you know what I'm going to say? Ah! So come on! Let's go! But before we do that, we got a whole bunch of new patrons. I mean a whole lot of them. Before we get started, I'm going to read them all off. Got to get my spectacles on. <laughs> it's a long list, so bear with me. Robert Abreu? Abreu? Gosh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Robert Helmig, Hiram Adamson, Kim Varian, Gene Ingram, Chris Wright, John Olson, Sarah and Nick Potter. Oh, what are you doing here? I, I, Ah! Sarah Foley, Michael Scott Gillespie, Joe Stegner, Brian M, Sean Ashley, Mike Mixon, Melker Apodica, gosh I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Dwayne Robertson, Thomas McGuire, show me the money, Tony Burby, Kyle Ledbetter, I remember Kyle, Brian Morris, Jonathan Cohen, I know it's a lot of names, huh? Robert Cotwright, I wonder if he knows Little Joe and Haas, Mark Steven, Lori Franceschi, Hart Epps, Hart Epps, Hart Epps, hmm, yeah, Mark Silvesto, and Edward Stevens, I want to give them all a big cowboy shout out, so come on down here, <laughs> help me give them a big cowboy shout out, ready? <laughs> Thank you for keeping the dream alive. I know you were thinking, Jeff, get on with it. I want to see the gold. I want to see it too. I can taste it. So let me get my pan and my, my water down here so you can see everything. And then we'll do a little metal detecting. So we're going to metal detect in this section on the left. Now, I'm going to be giving away the section on the right because the targets sound louder. And I just think that's only fair. Now, over here, I got a really big target. Hear that? And that's what I'll be giving away. Oh, here's another spider. I got a couple targets over here. Little soft, weak one there. Maybe one there. So we're gonna dig that out real quick. Right there, I think. Right there. Okay. Ooh, that looks good. Okay. I think we got him. Sounds like another one behind it. I got something. Something out of there. Okay. Remember, shake your spoon and then tap it. It'll make anything heavy drop to the bottom. And then put it off to the side. Okay, then what I like to do is anything heavy like iron or lead or anything like that, it's going to stay in the spoon. You can pull the little chunkies out. Now, I'm working with clay, so I'm grinding everything up. So, I'm just going to gently blow. <laughs> See what I mean? You can blow all that lighter stuff out. And I knew it. I know I got nuggets out here. See that? I don't know if you can see it. Here, I'll get that closer right there. See that? That's a nice one. Woo! It's got character to it, too. 
Here's another important rule. Anytime you find nuggets, you should always go back and dry wash or use a sluice or, or a high banker or something like that because wherever there's big gold, chances are there's little gold in there too. So I always tell these metal detectors, you know, don't just walk away after you find a nugget. Go back in there with a dry washer. I've seen a lot of guys just say, oh, I got my nugget, and they walk away. Grid the sections off, do one grid at a time, and get all that fine gold. I'm telling you, people just walk away from it. It drives me crazy. All right, so we're going to chip out a section here just to see what we got. Right about where that nugget was. I got to turn that off. It's driving me crazy. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. All right. Man, I'm glad I opened up this cavity so I can at least stand up a little bit. Whew. All right, let's see what we got in here. I think I got enough light. I think I got enough light. I want to be able to see what I'm panning. Whew. Man, that's nice too. You see all that conglomerate in there? Man, that's nice. And yeah, you're gonna get wet. Man, it's nasty clay. Remember, stratify your material, round and round. Get those heavies to go to the bottom. Shake, 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 back and forth. Tilt the pan forward. Now, if you're working with a lot of clays, you can use Clay Be Gone. It helps drop the clays and the sediments to the bottom. It's not a cure-all, but it does help. Man, I got a lot of conglomerate in there. See all that conglomerate in there, that round rock? That's round river rock, baby! <laughs> Probably from the late Cretaceous, early tertiary period. As you get down, you want to slow down. I think that's about as far down as I want to go. I can't see nothing. I got to get my glasses on. Oh yeah, got a little bit. I got a flake, I got some really tiny ones. Let me see if I can uh, shake that down. There's some black sand and some conglomerates. Get those out of the way. I got two little flakes. I don't know if you can see that. See that? Right there? That ain't too shabby, huh? I was expecting more, but I'll take the two flakes. Vines are really hard to, to work with because if you don't classify down to the size of the fines, then because of density and displacement, the gold will wash out if there's anything bigger in the pan. I got one there, one there. I got some really tiny ones right there. I got another tiny speck right there. And of course, my two monster flakes, as I'll call them there. And I think I got another one right there. I promised everyone I was going to chip out a big sample of this and put it in a bag. I'll tell you what, you want to lose weight, be a gold miner. Always ground balance every time you turn that detector on. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's another one. There's spider. That's a big one. See that big old pocket of conglomerate? Right in there. Right there, too. All right, so this is our zone right here. Here's my bag. All right, here we go. All right. Pretty good. <laughs> Double target. I hope Slim don't see this. That's the rail. See that? That's a big old bag. Look at that bag. Holy cow. <laughs> well, we're going to take this back to town, and then we're going to raffle this guy off, and I'll give away one of my books, too. So come on. Let's go. Slim, you a fool. What are you doing over here? Oh. Man, that dirt's heavy! Huh? Waiting for you, chump. Speak up! Speak up, sonny boy! I can't hear you! <laughs> Get the dirt out uh, of here! Man, look at the size of that! That's a whole lot of dirt! Look at that, Sam! Yeah, man! <laughs> you don't care! Woo, look at that! I don't know if you can see that. All those names in there? 
I don't know if you can see your name in there, but there they are. <laughs> How's that, Slim? Is that enough for you? That's enough for me. You want me to fold them again? No. Come what? on. You, what, you got a date with somebody? Yeah. <laughs> with Boney Maloney? <laughs> all right, I got all the names right there. Take a look at that. Woo wee, that's pretty good, huh? All right. What we're going to do is uh, we'll do a, do a drawing for the book first. The book on where to find gold, okay? So we'll do the drawing on that. And then we'll do the drawing on the dirt. All right, Slim, you ready? Are you, watch your hand, why you always gotta block stuff? Okay. Look at it go round and round, Slim. It reminds me of a ball mill, don't it? That's good. Is that good? Okay. Here we go. All right, Slim, drum roll. <laughs> All right, stick my hand in. I got one in my hand. This is for the book now. All right, here we go. All right, I can't see what that says. It says, oh, it's upside down. Can't Ro read either. Nah, I can read, Slim. Robert uh, Abreu, Abrea, Abreu. So you want yourself a book, all right? I'm gonna need your shipping address. <laughs> yeah, I'll get that later from you. So you got yourself a book. Where to find gold by me and Slim, huh, Slim? That's right. All right, now the one you all been waiting for. Hold on a second. I'm not gonna spin it, I'm gonna stick my hand in there. All right, here we go. I'll have you do it, Slim, but you wouldn't be able to grab nah, nothing. Get on in there. That feels good right there. Okay, let's take a look. Whoa, look at <laughs> Alright, what does it say? It says, Tom Leslie. Tom, if you're out there, you just won yourself about 100 pounds of dirt. <laughs> dirt, no. Oh, Tom Leslie. Okay. So I want you all to congratulate our winners, Tom Leslie and Robert a, a, a Brew. I wish, man, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Alright, so. Don't worry, no worries, because we're going to have more giveaways and contests as long as that gold continues to go. Ain't that right, Slim? That's right. All right. <laughs> we're going to send off a, a bag of this stuff to uh, Tommy Knocker's Pay Dirt and Mining Supplies, and they're going to auction off one if you want to get one, too. So, And then I'll, I'll put a link up to where you can get these books, too, because these are, these are really valuable books. I really think that you should get one of these because they got a lot of information and you're not going to find anywhere else. Huh, Slim? Yeah. Ooh, man, we had a lot of fun today, huh, Slim? That's right. Man, am I ever going to get you down in that mine and help me no dig? No way, John. Oh, he never wants to go down in that mine. I don't know why. <laughs> Not my job. <laughs> How you doing there, silly boy? <laughs> oh, anyway, so if you liked today's episode, please rate, share, and subscribe. And, of course, leave me and old Boney Brett here. <laughs> <laughs> a comment because we want to know what to think about us and no worries we're gonna have more contests and more giveaways so don't you worry as long as that darn mind holds out huh uh, so anyway until next time this is Jeff Williams and who yeah. that's right with that Jeff Williams .com, saying in all the years that I've searched I've learned a thing or two you got to learn how to laugh because you can't spell it without a u take care everybody <laughs>